Wally 64. Here, oh, Israel, Yahweh, our God, is one Lord. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh only. Shalom, Barakatha. This is High Priest Kahalah, Love the Law, also known as Calvin Israel, back with another video lesson, giving all praises, honor, power, glory, dominion, majesty, reverence, blessings, worship, love, and admiration to the Most High, Yahweh, and Yahweh only. Double honors, triple honors to Yahweh. And Yahweh only. No Baha Shem. Understand that. All right. Now, this is pre speech 13. Pre speech is saint speech. Saint speech, no hate speech. This is pre speech 13. The details of the matter. The details of the matter. Let's get into more of the details about the April 16th situation. That resulted in me going to jail doing five months, you know, dealing with my two third family members, just like we had brought out in pre-speech 12. You know, they set me up. I fell for their witchcraft. You know, they pulled up to my doorstep. They pulled up and provoked me to violence. And when I gave them what they provoked, they call it the police. That's high level witchcraft, right? And um, they threw me off because I was drinking. I wasn't drunk, but I was intoxicated. And my better judgment was impaired. So stay sober, right? Because people are always trying to trick you out of your spot. You know, look. These two third people are demons. I had cut them off as soon as, I mean, I cut them off when I was in jail because they cut me off. It wasn't no apologizing and having no compassion on the high priest after burying me alive, after you initiated the problem, you started stuff. It's like everybody know don't start nothing, it won't be nothing, you know what I'm saying? But everybody left me for dead, buried alive. Even my mother, um, no one put no money on my books to make sure that I was comfortable in there or, you know, somewhat comfortable because you can't be all the way comfortable in there. You know, but make sure that I was eating or I had the things that I needed. Nobody was there for me, only the Most High God. The Most High God was there for me through it all. And all I had to do was be myself. You know, continuing to carry myself as a priest. You know, I'm the high priest. And brothers was feeling that. You know, real, recognized, real. And brothers in there was tithing to me. You know, bringing me food and things that I needed. You know, uh, it was good and it was like so much of the Most High God taking care of me to where something happened that is unheard of in jail. It never happened. And that is, I mean, well, it rarely happens. I can't say it never happens, but it is very rare. And that is the COs, the correctional officers, bringing you food, commissary food. You know, that happened. It was an officer in there, took a liking to me, and he was bringing me commissary food. You know, Top Ramen's giving me soups and all of that, and uh, uh, sauces that was like sauces you can only get on commissary and stuff like that. It was another officer in there. He was opening my door, giving me extra trays, singling me out. They wasn't doing this for everyone. 
It was just me. All praises be to the Most High God. You know, the Most High God says, you know, my servant is going to eat. You know, you're going to be hungry, but my servant is going to eat. <laughs> you're going to be thirsty, but my servant is going to drink. You know, and Solomon said he never seen the righteous begging for bread. I didn't beg for nothing, you know, and I really wasn't eating in there because they were serving a lot of pork, hot dogs, bologna sandwiches. So I'll have to trade the bologna, the pork for like cookies or bread. So I was like eating a lot of cookies, bread, beans, rice. Right. And that was all right, you know. Because the main course, it'd be like pork, you know, and it was Muslims in there, so-called Muslims in there, and they was chowing down on that pork. I'm like, yeah, you know that's pork, right? They like, no, it's not pork. They can't give you pork in here for religious purposes. I'm like, that's pink, and it stinks. That's pork, bro. It's turkey. Like turkey is like a palish grayish color. Ain't there ain't no turkey? That's pork, bruh. They sitting up there looking like cattle. You know what I'm saying? Like they're like cattle. They got eyes. You can see them looking at you. But they can't see what's going on. I'm like, why would it be a such thing as a kosher tray if all the meat is clean? And they wouldn't give you the kosher tray if you don't know the Yiddish and you don't have a rabbi in a synagogue that you go to out here. You know, they give you a little questionnaire. You know, you can't get a kosher tray and then you can't get a vegetarian tray. I, mean, I couldn't get it. It was a few people that got the vegetarian tray, but I requested to get it. They wouldn't give it to me because, you know, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, you know, and I was labeled as a terrorist. So, you know, they was trying to torture me. Right. But, yeah, I was eating still, though, and I was cool. All praises be to the Most High God, right? So, when I went down, you know, my brother that claims to be street, you know, claim to be a hustler and all that. Claim to be with the East Oakland mob, the murder doves and all that. You know, like when I called my mom in booking, as soon as I got to jail, I'm like, Mom, what the heck? Why did you call them over there? I'm like, why did you tell them my business? She three-wayed my brother. And this dude being 40 years old. He get on the jail phone that he knows that's been recorded. He's been locked up multiple times. He knows that it's been recorded. He's going to tell me everything that I did as if I wasn't there. Hey, you, I'm like, bro, yo, you talking real wild and crazy on these jail phones, man, that's being recorded. You know, and just dry snitching, you know, just really like on some hateful stuff, man. You know, stealing my stuff out of my house when when I went down like I'm finna get life or something. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, this is the things that they do, man, that's just like so disrespectful. And it shouldn't be happening if these people are your family, your siblings. But it happens because the spirit the spirits are at war, you know, you know, you know, the righteous Holy Spirit that I have and the demonic spirit, the spirit of Lucifer, the spirit of rebellion that they have, man, are enemies. It, it really is not us enemies. It's just the spirit, you know, and, and yeah, it is us because I choose to be with the Holy Spirit and they choose to be rebellious with the Lucifer spirit. So man, it's, it's 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 messed up, but you know, let's read this Psalm sixty nine, verse three. I am weary of my crying, 
My throat is dried. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. See, it's all about waiting on the Lord, man, because we're going to get a reward after all of this. After dealing with the wicked and them mistreating us, hating us without a cause, causing problems where there ain't none, it's going to be a reward. We just wait on our God and we be waiting in sorrow. We be mourning, but we wait on our Lord. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. Right. King David was going through the same thing. Right. And uh, so many times that I restored the relationship that I did not destroy so many times, you know, I come and apologize and it's like, I can see my fault in things. You know, I can take ownership for my part, but people want me to take responsibility and accountability for their part. They don't want to take responsibility for their part in the matter. Like you initiated it and you provoked it. Yeah, I took it there and I, Took it rather far. I probably went too far. And I can take that. But don't start nothing. It won't be nothing. Everybody know that. But y'all don't want to take y'all apart. All right, it's all good. You know, uh, I'm not restoring that no more. You know what I mean? Oh, God, thou knoweth my foolishness and my sins are not hid from thee. So we never on that uh we're sinless and we're holier than thou. We know that, you know, uh, we fall weak. We fall weak, but we don't give up. And we confess our sins and we fight against them, striving and thriving to be better and better, right? Like I strive. To be better and better and more pure and more clean. That's why when I got out of jail, after examining myself in jail, I deleted all of the violent music that I was making. I deleted it all, right? So you won't find that violent music anymore, how rap's supposed to be, Next Level, Malcolm X, uh, Tell Them Crackers That, you know, because I deleted it all. You know, I don't want... I don't want the youth, the impressionable minds, I don't want them to be misled or confused, you know, to do anything violent against our enemies of the enemy nations. And they mess up their lives and find themselves in a jail cell, you know, and they be like, oh, they were influenced by Hebrew Israelite music, that zilly music, you know, you know, uh, yeah, it was it was pretty violent, but it was directed towards our enemies, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's how rap's supposed to be, you know, not violent directed towards your own people, but violent and destructive towards the enemy nations, and that's the type of music I was making. But I'm like, you know, that could influence somebody to do the wrong things and get themselves in even more trouble here in captivity and be put in a jail cell. And I don't wish jail on my worst enemy, right? And anybody that leave you for dead in jail do not love you, you know? Now, my congregation, they didn't know where I was at, you know? So I understand that. Um... But yeah, people that know and they leave for dead, man, they don't love you, man. You know, like I said, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. But uh, yeah, I deleted that music, man. Because we fight against our sins and we steady trying to 
you know, perfect ourselves, right? Let not them that wait on thee, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek you be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel, right? Because King David promotes Yahweh. He says great things about Yahweh. He, he tells the truth about Yahweh. So if someone seek Yahweh, he he's saying, you know, sh you know, show yourself to be real to them. Show yourself to them and give them a sign or something, but let yourself be known. Because I, you know, I say that you are real because you are real. You do exist, you know, because for your sake, I have borne approach. Shame has covered my face. Before, you know, you know, uh, that's true. Let's read that again. Because for thy sake, I have borne reproach. Shame have covered my face for Yahweh's sake. We're going on. We're going through all of this with two third family members. We're going through all of this with the wicked for Yahweh's sake, because the spirits are enemies, right? We choose to be with Yahweh. So all of these enemies enemies of Yahweh, they attack us like we didn't have this type of trouble and reproach when we were in the world with them. But when we came out of the world, we became against them, their enemies, enemies of wickedness, enemies of rebellion against God. It's all for Yahweh's sake. And now we're going through all of this trouble and hardship and struggles for Yahweh's sake. I am become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien unto my mother's children. Psalm 69 verse 8. I am become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien Unto my mother's children. Exactly the situation that I'm going through right now. Right? For the zeal of thine house has eaten me up. And the reproaches of them that reproach you are falling upon me. So they don't hate me. They hate what I represent. And that's Yahweh and his law, statutes, and commandments. Because before I was representing Yahweh and his law, statutes, and commandments, we got along just fine. You know, so they got a problem with God and his godliness and his law. So now they got a problem with me because that's what I stand for and I'm stumped down for it. You heard? When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth, also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. Well, we doing all of these godly things and we suffer for you. How will we fast? And they can't understand that. They don't fast, you know what I'm saying? You know, we doing all of this stuff for you. How will we change up our diets and everything? You know, I tell my brother, to keep the Levitical dietary law. My older brother, you know, he take the, he's cooking a gumbo soup full of crawdads, shrimp, crab legs, you know, and he sips it and says, mmm, abomination. Just completely wicked. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. So they call you a Bible thumper, or, you know, a proverb, you know, and other things like that. They that sit in the gate speak against me. And I was the song of the drunkards. 
If you scared, go to church because the remix hurt. That was Richie Rich from Oakland who, who said that. And I was the song of drunkards. Right? So, you know, this is real. This is real. And this is what our forefathers went through as well. And we're going through the same thing in this new day. But as for me, my prayer is unto you, O Yahweh, in an acceptable time, O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me in the truth of your salvation. Deliver me out of the mirror and let me not sink. So deliver me out of the mud and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me. And out of the deep waters. Let not the water flood over me. Neither let the deep swallow me up. And let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Right? And the Most High God does that. The Most High God does protect us. And... It always could be worse. It could have been worse. It could have went, you know, completely left, you know, and it could have been more hurt brought my way. You know, all praises be to the most I got. It wasn't more hurt brought my way, you know, but this is why I had to rain down judgment, you know, and why I slapped them. This is the offense that they made. Let's go to it. Exodus 22. They provoked it and they were being really disrespectful. And this is why it got physical. Exodus 22 verse 28. Thou shalt not revile the gods, nor curse the ruler of of thy people, you know, so they see me. I always been the ruler of them. You know what I'm saying? Like even what they represent now in wickedness before I was in the truth, I started it. I named it. I created it. Right. So I always been the ruler and I'm standing up in righteousness now high up, higher than the cost of a Rolex watch, higher than a fur coat, the high priest up high. Hovering. And they know that I'm real lethal with this knowledge. So I am the ruler of the people, of our people. And they know that I keep telling them that this is not a religion. This is about our nationality, you know, and about, you know, the laws of our nation. Our constitution is the commandments. Thou shalt not revile the gods, which is with a little g. It means judges, nor curse the ruler of thy people. And that's what they did. They broke this commandment and got slapped up. And let's go to Proverbs 18 and 6. Proverbs 18, verse 6. Proverbs 18, verse 6, a fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth calleth for strokes. So a fool's mouth invites a beating with your mouth. Watch your mouth. Right. You don't want to stand with your lips. And let's close it out with this here. Let's go to Proverbs 37, verse 23. Proverbs 37, verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahweh, and he delighteth in his ways. Yahweh direct our steps. Though he fall... He shall not be utterly cast down, for Yahweh upholdeth him 
with his hand. And I got into some trouble, you feel me? And I lost a lot because of this situation. You know, I fell. But I'm not utterly cast down because Yahweh uphold me with his hand. Yahweh, he's our God. And I'm going to continue to fight for him. I'm going to continue to stand up for his laws in righteousness. Right? Yeah, that's right. All praises be to the Most High God, Yahweh. Yahweh Akkad.